Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a hat. Why am I in a hat? <laughs> this is our Simple Abundance year with Sarah Von Vronick's book, Simple Abundance. And you may remember from the April Joyful Simplicities video that she recommended that we try all different kinds of hats this month. She recommended going to a hat store, which my hat store was my coat closet where I have a lot of different hats. This is my spring hat and it's something that I'll wear out in the garden or if I go boating or something like that. Of course, you know my favorite color is purple because I told you that recently. And I've been trying to do something that is quote unquote normal every day in some way. So today, uh, because in regular springtime, I would be getting out this hat and doing some gardening and stuff. I didn't do the gardening part, but I did get my um, bird bath from out of the storage closet. And I have a heated bird bath that I use during the, the winter, but now that it's getting to be nicer weather, I got my ceramic really nice decorative one out. So I'm going to put that out. And I also got a... I have a like a garden decoration thing that's a red toadstool that is just really cool. I love lots of magical things like my fairy houses in my garden usually and stuff. Hopefully I'll take you through all that if I actually break it out this year. We'll see. But anyway, my uh, hat today was appropriate because it was totally pouring rain where I live and so I needed a hat also because I did go out today I had to do a couple of errands but I was very safe and I didn't actually interact with people up close or anything and I did wear a mask and I was wearing my green raincoat and this purple hat and then my friend's mom made me a whole rainbow of colors of face masks to wear so I picked one that was just like another splash of color and I was on my way. <laughs> so right now we're talking about finding your authentic style, right? And so I was just like, what the heck? I'm gonna just go for it, you know? I am all over the map as far as being really colorful and unpredictable and yeah, a mix of free spirit plus totally high strung. It's like, you don't even know what to expect from me. But I was happy in my little purple hat, and I thought that I would wear it for you guys tonight. And Sarah's book today is April 9th, and I really like, I don't remember this from reading the book in the past, I really like this suggestion that she has. So she is talking about style in terms of your house. And we talked about color already, right? Going through each room and seeing if you notice various colors. Have you been noticing colors just in general since we talked about that? Because I definitely have been noticing those things. Um, this is a suggestion from another author that she mentions. Her name is Mary Emerling. And she has a big notebook that has pockets in it. And what she does is they're like little zippered sort of canvas things, you know, so it could be like a three ring binder that you have and you have sections for each page. I mean, sorry, for each uh, room in your house. She uses, I'm reading from Sarah's entry. She uses a zippered canvas loof leaf, loose leaf notebook with plenty of pockets for such tools as a tape measure, scissors, pens, pencils, paper clips, sharpener, and calculator. She gives each room a section of its own, complete with a wish list, photographs, charting changes, a floor plan, and an envelope with paint chips, uh, fabric swatches, and receipts. In the book, in the back of the book, she keeps a year's calendar, noting sales and special events, and a personalized resource guide with the names and phone numbers of stores, showrooms, dealers, contractors, and material suppliers. It's a dream archive that she can carry around with her so that she can catch inspiration as it floats by instead of letting it dissolve into the ether. 
So I remember, I think when I bought my first house years and years ago, somebody gave me a home buyer's notebook and you could keep track of what colors you painted the walls and it was really helpful because sometimes you know that you have to go and get it mixed again and so uh, I don't have anything like that right now for my current place that I live but I really like this idea of having each room sort of mapped out and I have done this in my journal before where I have actually listed out each room and what I might want to do in it you know maybe it's like getting a new comforter for the bed or changing the color scheme of pillows somewhere or it's like there's a picture that I have that I just don't love that I'd want to replace somewhere in my place so I guess I have done something similar to that, but she's going so far as to have plans for maybe fabric swatches, she says, like if she's gonna have new curtains or tablecloth or maybe reupholster furniture like we talked about recently. So that's a really neat idea. I suppose you don't have to have it in a notebook. You could you could even have like a little another little gathering box we have a lot of those by now right if we we're following all these things that she suggests this year um but i think i think that's a really great idea though to take each room one at a time and give it its own little page or however you want to do it maybe it is a whole section of a notebook and she sounds like this author even you know, mapped out the room with measurements and everything. You know I love decorating, I told you that. So that that interests me. I I move a lot, so my the most exciting thing that I usually find from moving is getting to redecorate and have like a new floor map. So I should have probably been a designer or something of some kind in that respect to use that that love of mine. So what do you think? Are you going to do something like that? Do you already have a little notebook like that? I wonder if you're starting to give a nod to your personal likes and what you may want to change as far as your house goes, colors, bringing, bringing more of what you love into your space and into your clothing choices, like we said, even down to your hat. Well, it was fun. It really brightened my day to just have my hat on. It's funny how things like that can just bring a smile to your face. And it's such a small little thing. Hope you're finding little things that are putting smile on your face no matter what they are. I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're doing well. Hope to hear from you. And until next time, be well.